Hi friends, this is Coffee Talk with the two crazy women. You know how long it's been since we've Actually, one crazy woman, by the way. She does not lie. <laughs> what, 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 what were you going to say? It's been so long since I've seen myself on video, I'm scared. <laughs> well, well, why is that? You're just scared of the camera? <sighs> or you don't have me to make it funny. Right. I'm not funny on my own. I am, she's the Lucy and I'm the Ethel. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> I don't like looking at myself on video. Really? I like your glasses. Those are really adorable. Aren't they? So, what do you want to talk about? Coffee talk. Okay. To drink ice water or not? Or not. Walk amongst yourselves. Actually, cold water is very good for you. Supposed to speed the metabolism up because why is it's going down? Why? I don't know, but I eat ice cubes all the time. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to. Or, I'm not anemic, but I just like to eat ice. I know. And no matter what I do, I'm always anemic. Really? Yeah. That's not Even good. before I was before I had or and gastric bypass. Oh really? Hey, so how's it going? What do you think about the? Did you like the uh, the? Uh, the 40s thing that uh, we did. Oh my God, I loved it. How you feeling, baby? What you doing tonight? Hope you're in the mood because I'm feeling just right. Hey, um, uh, Cookie says, uh, uh, she says that we were doing the boogie, boogie, oogie, oogie, woogie, boogie. It's, that song's called In the Mood. In the Mood. Mm -hmm. And it originally didn't have words. Uh, it was just a musical piece by the Glenn Miller Band and then uh, words were added later. So. Mm -hmm. And I only know the words because we sang it in choir. So. <laughs> we, made up the, we made up the steps as we were going along like, you know, we don't know. We don't know. And uh, Cookie says, y'all know y'all were doing the boogie oogie? And I'm like, really? The boogie oogie. I want everyone to be there. It's our five year anniversary and that's a big deal. You know, five right. years. Right. And we're going to have, uh, right now, the whole pinup girl, like 1940s thing is really big. Um, so we thought we'd have uh, the first night to have that pinup, you know, kind of feel to it, big mm -hmm. band music. I love Jamie and Leanne that uh, dress oh, yeah. up. We've, dress got, up. we've they, got a bunch of pros. They're so cool <laughs> about it. The whole 40s thing, will be, I think, will be a fun night. And then for guys, they call them Dapper Dan, so they can wear, like, the zoot suits or whatever they feel like. I don't like. know how I'm going to get my hair back the way my daughter did it, but I'm going to do my best. Hair hairstylist there, don't we? Yeah, we need a few. Well, we can we can work it out, but... Uh, <laughs> Your hair is so flat normally. My, I'm so <laughs> short, and my hair is, like, this, this long, oh. so it's kind of going to be hard to do, but I was going to work with it. So you know yeah. what else I wanted to ask people? Oh, Rosemary got me the greatest cookbook. I don't know where it is now. Chef the pen. It's over there. It's over there. Where? where? Run, Forrest, run! We watched that movie last night. It was amazing. I, love I could watch that over and over. And you oh, never Forrest. know what you're gonna get. Oh, Forrest Gump. And uh, Connie pointed out that it has a CD in it. It does on the back. Which is like old technology now, right? But anyway, um, but the reason I'm bringing this up, I love cooking. I love chefs. I got this last time I was in Vegas. Giotto! Isn't she pretty? Um, the reason I'm bringing that up is, again, about the meet and greet. We're going to do a chopped thing. Now, I don't think people are getting it. We're going to put a link below here because I need two things. Even if you're not coming to the meet and greet, would you please share a weight loss surgery friendly recipe? We want to collect recipes. It could be a main dish recipe, fish, meat, poultry, vegetarian, vegan. We don't care. Quinoa. Well, of course. That's anyway. going to be my specialty. But anyway, we want you to submit a recipe, even if you're not coming to the event. And we're going to gather them all together, and we hope it's your original recipe. But if it's not, just tell us whose recipe it is. We'll give them credit. And we're going to make a little community cookbook. Mm. And... Um, and electronically, it'll be free to everybody. And then as a fundraiser, we'll do print-to-order books. Like if you want to give it as a gift to a newbie or something, wouldn't it be a nice present? That would be. And um, anyway, the point is people can submit recipes, even if they're not going to the meet and greet. If you are going to the meet and greet and you would like to compete in our WLSFA friendly, you know, weight loss friendly chopped, Carney Wilson, who is an actual CHOP champion, she's going to be one of our judges. We're going to have a couple others. We haven't announced those guys yet. Um, and then the three people that compete are going to win some amazing prizes. 
and um, of course their winning recipes will be in in the cookbook and featured that kind of thing but everyone who submits a recipe gets a copy of the cookbook for no money that's ridiculous that's yeah. exciting and it's for our community and I wish we I would have had you know what I did look for stuff like that when I first had my me too RNY and I couldn't find anything guys no nothing I mean I think there's more stuff now but I think just having it together in one place that where we all can contribute what the heck so so anyway everybody who submits recipes um, has is entered into a chance to win a WLSFA bicycle number one, and that's a really neat beach cruiser bicycle, and we'll ship it right to your house if you're drawn as a winner. And uh, the recipes will be in the book, and then if you are going to be at the event and you want to compete, how fun would that be? We're going to have three cooking stations, three baskets, and um, the other fun thing is, even if you don't want to cook, but you want to participate at the event, we're going to have a treasure hunt on Friday. You know when people arrive... It's a little bit uncomfortable that some people have never been. They don't know anybody. Not for me. I, I go right up to you and just say my name and start talking. Well, yeah, but you people get, have to say move, get yeah. out of the way. I want to meet somebody Run, else. Move, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for some people, it's not like that, so they're nervous. I know. So what we're gonna do is, when you register, we're gonna give everybody a sheet, like a treasure hunt sheet with hints on it, and there's going to be items hidden around the hotel and the property and if you find an item it'll be like a can a bean whatever it'll be wrapped and you won't and you That's will turn cool. the, you you go on a treasure hunt to find it you can work together with other people by yourself whatever and then your items go in the pantry and when we do our chopped competition our chefs will be able to pick from those items and if your item is picked you win too if they win so if they win chopped, you win chopped. So we want people to just. Be I gotta bring my, my bag of quinoa. I gotta bring my bag of quinoa and hide it. Do, or well, do you, I give you, it to you to hide? You don't have to bring anything. We're gonna hide food items. Make sure you. We'll make, make sure, sure you there's grab some quinoa. Quinoa. Yeah. That's right. But anyway, so the <laughs> idea of the whole chop thing is to show that we can make healthy meals that are interesting and delicious, have a lot of fun, win some prizes. Everyone participates, so we end up with a cookbook that everyone can benefit from and we can sell printed copies to raise a little money for the foundation so good right yeah i hope you guys like that when i first started i was just thinking about this when i first started um can of baby food was told that we could have that mm. from who wants to eat that in mm. fact it wasn't any good i don't know some people say that they swore by how delicious it was but i don't like any of it <laughs> thing we're going to have the treasure hunt that goes with that, the chop things on Saturday, the Friday night, we're going to have the 40s night, Saturday night is the black and white gala, and that's just an excuse to get dressed up, black and white is the color, twinkle lights, Laura really wanted twinkle lights, that was her deal for this year, so I'm like, go for it, we're yeah. going to get twinkle lights, <laughs> and um, it'll be a lot of fun, and uh you know, so we hope you can come, so we'll put links down there, so please submit a recipe whether you're coming or not. You can still win stuff, and um, the whole community really needs it. I think we all have some great tricks up our sleeves. Who he who here, with a uh, comment, has a veggie, <laughs> a veggie, a veggie, a veggie, a veggie, a veggie thing? Vajetti. makes makes yeah. spaghetti out of zucchini. I hope I want to get some of those. Connie, Connie bought a real fancy one at the thrift. Did it work good? Yes. It's one of those fancy ones that you just put it in and just... Just turn it. I know. I want to get one still. So, whatever. We're going to have fun. And, and it's in San Diego, so I'm hoping a lot of West Coasters can just drive down there. We're going to drive um, from the Bay, Bay Area. We're I'm going to be in the trunk. Yeah. We'll, we, we strap her to the, to the <laughs> roof of the car. And then she will say, yo! <laughs> no, uh, but uh, I know we're going to drive. We go up to Vegas. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, but, yep, yep, yep. We're hoping that, um, you know, it's it, like last year or this year it was in Tampa, so a lot of people are like, oh, I'm on the West Coast, I can't do the East Coast. And then when we do it on the West Coast, people are like, oh, I'm on the East Coast, I can't do the West <laughs> Doesn't matter, right? Like next year, who knows? Like, we could pick the set, like find the center of the United States and pick that. <laughs> and then no one will come. They'll be like, I'm on the East, I'm on the West. Anyway. Well, hopefully everybody shows up. But anyway, it's, it's going to be a blast and I can't wait. But uh, what was I going to say? The, the, the thing that I want you to remember, I know you guys, uh, you hear me say it all the time. What an amazing thing that, um, you know, the WSFA started by saving a life. And, of course, 
I've seen the changes in my sister day in and day out. Mm -hmm. And I get emotional. I just, oh, I don't want to start crying. Mm -hmm. But really, guys, to see her so free mm -hmm. when I saw her. I mean, I was there too, only my, my story is not documented. But I was happy to document hers and remember how how she only wished to be where she's at today and is living a free life just like all of you know what I'm talking about and just to see her as free as she is she's driving again she's not she, she doesn't have to worry about uh, going with her husband her husband loves to be with her which is an amazing thing in itself Uh, but, with fashion. Yeah, it's just amazing. Oh, oh my gosh. She has so many clothes. <laughs> she has to clean out her closet. But but to know that she came out of three dresses, I mean, she wore three dresses. For how long? For years. I'm not even, I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. I, I was the same way. I always, I wore a uniform uh, for school. And I remember uh, the lady that made my, my skirt every year. She'd always add more material every year, and then finally she did. She refused to do it. Things remind me of how imprisoned we were in our life, and and for me, this this fundraiser is more than a fundraiser. Yes, we're going to have fun and we're going to do amazing things because this woman can put a party together. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we are literally saving a life has to be noted. That is the yeah. reason behind this whole situation. Yeah. I, I think that does kind of get lost sometimes. It's a meet, It started out as a meet and greet of just weight loss surgery patients getting together in Vegas just to celebrate our new healthier bodies, turned into a fundraiser charity. And, and, and that is, it, is, it is for you guys, though. I mean, this is a community event. These are, this is for us to enjoy our new lives, to celebrate what we can do amongst people who get it. There's no explanations needed. Shrinkles are accepted. <laughs> In fact, we should have a shrinkle off, I swear. Right? Anyway, but the point is, is, this is, it's awesome. It is a meet and greet, and it is a social thing. It's turned into social, educational, motivational, all that good stuff, but the core is that when, when we bring all of you people together, Right. Our community, companies, you know, that sell things to us, and these are good companies, uh, you know, celebrate vitamins, bariatric advantage. We've got this new company called uh, uh, Pocket Protein, who is just amazing to us, Patch MD, whatever. All of these wonderful sponsors, they want to come to show you their wares, and they pay. And when they pay, that's really what makes our grants, okay? Your tickets that we ask you to pay for, that really just kind of covers your food and beverage while we're there for three days. But because you're there, these companies come. We get to try all this new fun free stuff. Yeah. And in the end, we raise this money to give away. And, you know, we've done uh, 13 grants. We're about to fund our 14th grant, our very first chapter grant. I want to give a big old shout out to the East Coast Meet and Greet. If you were there, thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you guys raised over $5,000. That was enough to put... The Bristol, Connecticut chapter over the top to do their first surgery. At the end of this year, I believe we'll have our 14th surgery done. And that means going into our fifth year, we're talking 15 surgeries, hopefully more, right? Right. I got a phone call. Okay, guys. It's our, we're, I'm already having, I'm going to have to cut this short. All right. I love you guys, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye. Bye.